This is an ABC 10 News update. I'm Mary McKenzie with this ABC 10 News update. Two people have died after a crash in Oceanside. Police say it happened about 2 o'clock this morning when a Dodge SUV slammed into a light pole at State Route 76 and Airport Road. That investigation is ongoing and it's not known if drugs or alcohol happen to be a factor in that crash. The westbound 76 from Fusat Road to Airport Road is now back open. We'll continue to follow the story, bring you any updates. A technical glitch has been fixed after causing semi trucks to get stuck at the Otay Mesa port of entry in some cases for hours. Yesterday, trucks and even some cars could be seen stopped at the border, backed up for miles. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says a computer system failure on the Mexican side of the border caused those delays. Mexican Customs says that when that system is down, agents have to do everything manually, causing those long wait times. The problem has been fixed, but CHP says we could still see trucks lined up today. More businesses are rebounding from the pandemic. Today, the Border View Family YMCA will reopen to the public after being closed for two years. The facility was one of many to close back in March of 2020. Today, they're commemorating that reopening, though, by hosting their first group fitness activity sessions. The Border View YMCA has been serving the South Bay for nearly 40 years. Let's get a check of the forecast for this long weekend. Here's Melissa. And we are going to start off the weekend mostly sunny with temperatures in the upper 60s, even low 70s along the coastline. Our our inland spots will be into the mid 70s. Next week, temperatures will start to cool down. We are expecting showers that could come as early as late Monday night and then lingering through Tuesday into Wednesday on and off. We're going to see the low 60s by President's Day on Monday inland. Mountains will also be very cold by the middle of next week with snow showers expected Tuesday into Wednesday. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com. You can also download our free app for ABC 10 News. I'm Mary McKenzie.